The celebration just underway. He's one now with the Miami Heat, with the Cleveland Cavaliers, and the Los Angeles Lakers. As has his teammate Danny Green, also his third championship with three different teams. And Rajon Rondo winning his second NBA title. The Celtics in 08, the Lakers in 2020. Right now, let's get things started. As they're going to bring the best folk Louis Vuitton trophy travel case. PA announcer Kyle Speller. Joining us now at center court with a special presentation. Please welcome ESPN's Rachel Nichols. Thank you so much. I am just thrilled to say that we are now joined by the Lakers Genie Bus and here to present the Larry O'Brien Trophy, Commissioner Adam Silver. Thank you, Rachel. This season restart was always about something bigger than basketball. It was about resilience and ingenuity, but it was also about racial equality and social justice. Working together, teams and players, we found a way to play through a pandemic, keep everyone safe, and put a spotlight on these critically important issues. For that, every team deserves to be celebrated. And a special thank you to Disney and the 6,500 people who worked on this campus. The basketball here in Orlando has been intense. Congratulations to the Miami Heat, our Eastern Conference champions. And after three months, one team has emerged victorious. The Los Angeles Lakers are the NBA's 2019-20 champions. Congratulations to Jeannie Buss, the Buss family, Rob Palinka, Coach Vogel, the whole Laker organization, and of course this incredible team. This Larry O'Brien trophy, and I believe this suitcase, are yours. You guys, come take the trophy. Jeannie, it has been a decade of ups and downs to get to this moment right here with these guys. What does it mean to you to win it this year of all years with everything that's happened? Well, first I want to thank Adam Silver and all the workers that made it possible for us to finish out this season. I um, especially would like to thank all the teams that made it to the bubble to make this all possible. Shout out to the Portland Trail Blazers, the Houston Rockets, the Denver Nuggets, and the Miami Heat for the honor and privilege of sharing this court with them. On behalf of the Laker organization, Rob Palenka, thank you. Coach Vogel, the coaching staff, the training staff, all our employees back home in Los Angeles for your tireless work in making this happen. And to you, Lakers team, I am so proud of you both on and off the court. You've done uh, Los Angeles proud with your hard work, your professionalism, and your dedication. And I, you have written your own inspiring chapter in the great Laker history. And to Laker Nation, we have been through a, a heartbreaking tragedy with the loss of our beloved Kobe Bryant and Gianna. Let this trophy serve as a reminder of when we come together, believe in each other, incredible things can happen. Laker Nation, when it's safe, I look forward to celebrating with you. Until then, I will bring back the trophy to Los Angeles where it belongs. Jeannie, thank you so much. Frank Vogel, please come up and join us. Frank, when you think about all the questions about this team at the start of this year, how would you describe the journey to get from there to this moment? Well, we have a, we have a PhD in adversity, I can tell you that much. Uh, we've been through a lot, but I'm so damn proud of this team. 
champions! <laughs> credit, credit to this group right here, these group of players for buy, buying into being a team first team, committing to the defensive end. You became a defensive monster. You saw that tonight. My coaching staff, we've had fun since day one. We've had fun together with this whole process. RP, thanks for the opportunity, collaboration, and togetherness. Jeannie and the Bus family, we love you guys. Laker Nation, we did it! Frank, I have heard you say you weren't the most obvious choice to coach this team, but you were clearly the right coach for this team. Why were you such a perfect fit and voice for these guys? Just uh, I'm the guy that's going to focus on the work, you know, and that's what this group needed. We had, we had the talent, you know, we just wanted to focus on the work, tie all the strings together, make sure we all play together, and we got it done. Thank you so much, Coach. Congratulations. Now let's hand things back over to Commissioner Silver to present the 2020 Bill Russell MVP Trophy. Of course, the finals MVP Trophy, as you just said, is named after Bill Russell who has been with us every year for the finals, but of course couldn't be in the bubble this year, but I know is watching at home. And I have a feeling that this finals MVP is gonna have a trophy named after him one day. The finals MVP is LeBron James. about what you've done before when you become a Laker you've got to do it with them as well well you have done it LeBron what does it mean to you uh, means a lot it means a lot to represent this franchise um, Jeannie I told Jeannie when I came here that uh, I was gonna put this franchise back in a position where it belongs um, her late great father did it for so many years and she just you know took it on after that and for me to be a part of such a historical franchise is uh it's an unbelievable feeling not only for myself but for my teammates for the organization for the coaches for the trainers everybody that's here um we just want our respect rob wants his respect <laughs> coach vogel wants his respect our organization want their respect laker nation want their respect and I want my damn respect, too. Well, LeBron, I'm going to tell you, four finals MVPs, your fourth title with three franchises, extremely elite company, and in year 17 as well. you got a guy in your ear right now telling you're the greatest of all time. You're just a couple months shy of your 36th birthday. Yeah. Is this the longest prime in the history of professional sports? I don't know. I'm going to let you guys talk about it. Um, one thing I can do is uh, commit to the game. Um, I put myself and my body and my mind in position to be available to my teammates. Um, I've never missed a playoff game in my career. And uh, the best thing you can do for your teammates is be available. And uh, for me to be available to my teammates and put in the work, um, I just hope I make my guys proud, and, and that's all that matter to me. I make my guys proud, make the fan base proud, my family back home. I can't wait to get back home to them. Akron, Ohio, we did it again, and, um, you know, that's what it's all about. You have had an incredibly close partnership with the guy over there to your left. What can you say about the way you two work together to get this trophy here tonight? I mean, it's easy. It's easy. Um, I said it in the presser. Uh, before, we have no ego. Um, we want the best from each other every single day, both in off the floor, on and off the floor. And I know what it means to have seven years uh, where you feel like um, that you can't get over the hump. 
You know, I had seven years, my first stand in Cleveland. I felt like I couldn't get over the hump. I felt like I needed some help. I felt like I need someone to push me. And that's when I was able to go to Miami and get pushed by D. Wade and Bosch in that franchise. And so to be able to get him and we push him and let him know how great he is, but just making him see better basketball and better to be a part of something that's special, that's what it's all about. So to be able to put him where he is today, I, I, that means so much to me. And the fact that he trusts me uh, means even more. You were very vocal coming in here that you weren't just trying to win a title in this bubble, but you wanted to be a real voice for social change in what has been one of the most turbulent years in American history. When you look back about what the entire NBA Brotherhood did in this bubble, what will you think of? Uh, it's been unbelievable. It's been unbelievable. We didn't know.